Bert Week really went to different stores, different community groups, different nonprofits, and say, we're having Bird Week. How do you want to celebrate? So one of those businesses is the city's most popular donut, a place called Top Hot Donuts. We told them about Bird Week and we asked them how would they celebrate. And they said that we would, you know, create a special Bird Week donut we'd sell all week. And we went to the Seattle Public Library and they said, you know, we could reach out to different groups through art, through writing, and we really kind of put it in their hands how they want to celebrate Bird Week. There is no wrong way. They'll come and ask the librarian, can we take a crate? And it's really cute because then they want to play with the birds. And that also attracts the parents, which will pick up books that they want to read to their children as well. What we did is we worked with uh, BirdNote to create BirdNote Live. And we really just brought in Barbara Earl Thomas, who's a great supporter and a board member who we are in love with, Dr. Drew Lanham, and said we could make sure that they're here and BirdNote took it from there. This is BirdNote! They needed a naturalist, they needed someone that was really famous, and then they needed someone who was scared. <laughs> I think it's amazing. People will be like, oh yeah, birds, they're pretty cool, but then not really go much further than that. And this is an amazing opportunity to go like more in depth with that and to just expose how amazing these creatures are to anybody. This is Tame of the Hawk, and he is the mascot for the Seattle Seahawks for the last 13 years. And so he flies out of the tunnel and leads a team out. He's the first hawk out of the tunnel and the game doesn't start until the hawk flies. We, we do want to make sure this thing is not just the first and last year. We want to make sure we're doing this next year and have it even bigger and better. Get more support, get more sponsors, get more people involved. I mean, right now we're going to be birding in 10 different uh, parks across the city simultaneously. Right now, hundreds of people around the city of Seattle are going on bird walks. On this final day of Seattle's first ever bird week. We're all going out to look and listen to birds in the wild. In forests, beaches, and urban parks. So we're glad that you guys could come out and be a part of it at a park that of course is very special to us because we operate here all the time. We're making sure that we're reaching out to more people and giving more people access to some of these bird opportunities. This is the thing that's really great about birding is that you kind of don't really have to know what the bird is to enjoy birding. To get those people out in nature, in a city park, seeing these wonderful creatures and watching their faces light up was a real highlight for me. There's a variety of ways to get closer to people and bring the, the joy of birding and the specialness of birds to more people's lives. And we want to continue to try to do that.